Infolive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. News update for InfoLive TV. This is David Oman. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas said on Wednesday that the Hamas takeover of the Gaza Strip devastated the vision of establishing a Palestinian state. Following a meeting with Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak, Abbas said that Hamas had assisted all the enemies of the Palestinian people and those who opposed the establishment of a Palestinian state. The Israeli Security Cabinet met Wednesday morning in what was termed a very sensitive session to discuss the possibility of an outbreak of conflict between Israel and Syria. The meeting is one in a recent series of sessions which dealt with the Northern Front and the necessary preparations on the home front in case of an escalation with Syria. Defense Minister Hud Barak said Tuesday that he considers completion of a rocket defense system a precondition for any substantive withdrawal from the West Bank and thus sees great importance in speeding up development of such a system, which is expected to take three to five years. The United Nations Food Program will launch a $3.3 million program to assist families in southern Lebanon to renew farming disrupted by the Second Lebanon War and the danger of unexploded ordnance. Farmers are to receive seeds and help in rebuilding greenhouses. The Israeli government, after decades of delay, has decided to invest in public transportation. The 2008 state budget includes a number of related clauses, such as lowering the price of public transportation, improving service, and increasing enforcement of carpool lanes. According to data released by the Central Bureau of Statistics, the standard of living in Israel is increasing at a moderate rate. The data pegged the average monthly expenditure for an Israeli household in 2006 at approximately $2,800. Today on Info Live, Defense Minister Ehud Barak speaks out against the phenomenon of disobedience in the IDF. Also on Info Live, the life of a world-renowned Israeli artist on a kibbutz. Today the whole world talks about Israel, but who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.